Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. I hope you are all doing well in this video. I wanted to share with you some of the information and research that I've been doing related to these projects that are building on Cardano. There's a lot of excitement about DeFi, NFTs, so I wanted to talk with you about that. Also give an update on our progress with Lovely Saga. There's a lot of anticipation for what we are building as well. Wanted to talk with you about that here in this video. Also sharing with you some things related to Hydra, scalability, and I wanted to just give some information on what we can expect probably very soon with the Cardano Summit. So lots to go over in this video today. If you all do enjoy this type of content, please be sure to drop a like for me. It really does help support our channel. And if you wanna stay up to date with everything related to the Cardano project, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me a comment as well. Let me know what projects that you are excited about building on Cardano and where you're gonna be going for the Cardano Summit. So to start things off, I wanted to just briefly share with you some details on what I've been working on with Lovelace Saga. As far as where we are with the project, so we've got the NFTs created, we've got the artwork done, pretty much the game design has been completed. Where we're at now, we've actually got a full scale game development company that we've hired on to help us with everything related to the back end of the game development, of creating the smart contract applications, that are going to be used within the game. Uh, we've also got a team that's gonna be working on the front end of development, creating the UI UX, so that there is a really, really good user experience for this game. Uh, there's a lot of work that's being done with it. We're hoping to have a full-scale website that shows a completed roadmap, gives you links to our socials, all that good stuff, hopefully by October. So. We'll be looking forward to that. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, for those of you all who have asked about our progress, thank you all so much. Uh, it really does mean the world to me that you guys care about what I'm building and uh, want to know more about it. Uh, so I really do appreciate that. I'm hoping that I can get more frequent with these updates. You know, it's been a while since we did post an update simply because we've been working and building. Hope that we can continue to make those updates as we make progress. So that's a little bit about what we've been working on. We've got two teams, one front end team, one back end team, a lot of progress being made. So you guys definitely wanna stay tuned for Lovely Saga. Now, taking a look at the computer, there was a really interesting tweet posted by Ada Whale, and he was listing some of the DEX projects that are building on Cardano that are looking to release, hopefully within the next month or couple months. And I've been doing a lot of research on these DeFi projects as well. There is so much to learn with all these projects that are being built. There was also a bit of concern and debate going back and forth about the concurrency issues that would face Cardano's extended UTXO model and how that relates to DeFi. Um, so I wanted to just briefly show some of the things that I've been looking at. So some of the articles that have highlighted this very well. Uh, and also just give you some of the developments that we see for some of these projects. Uh, now this by no means is all of the projects that are gonna be releasing at this time frame. I mean, with Twitter, you really do have to limit the amount of characters that you put into a single tweet. I'm sure that there's gonna be more projects, uh, but these are some of the top projects that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, things like Liquid, Sunday Swap, ADAX, ViFi, uh, even MinSwap decks releasing later on in Q4, things like Indigo Protocol, Cardax, Ardana, and Ray Network. Uh, but what we have here releasing in October, tentatively, I guess, is going to be Liquid, Sunday Swap, ADAX Pro, and ViFi. So if we take a look, I wanted to just understand what some of these projects are doing, what they are building, and how they're thinking about the concurrency issue that we've seen come up in recent days. Uh, there's been quite a few articles that have been written on concurrency. I've been trying to read as much as possible on this topic and how these developers are going to be addressing the concern of concurrency. Uh, this is a great blog post on the IOHK blog talking more about Cardano's UTXO model and concurrency. So I'm briefly going to read some of the sections of these articles and in doing so hoping to give you a better understanding of what it is that we're talking about with concurrency. So blockchains achieve immutability and transparency of transaction processing differently. Any blockchain system should have a set of properties to meet the ever-growing need for secure yet swift operation processing namely throughput, performance, and scalability. 
When it comes to scalability, we also distinguish such system properties as concurrency, parallelism, and contention. Concurrency is essential to allow multiple actors to progress on a certain task without interfering with each other. Parallelism allows such progress at the same time without any interference, and contention occurs when those multiple actors interfere with each other while working either concurrently or in parallel. So understanding a bit more about concurrency, according to this article, it says that to obtain actual performance improvements in a UTXO-based blockchain, processors or other actors should be able to perform multiple actions simultaneously. The higher the level of concurrency, the higher the maximum possible parallelism. Such an approach then translates to performance improvements and throughput. It also provides significant advantages over account-based systems like Ethereum. So that's going to be a very high level of understanding the term concurrency. And there was another really interesting blog post that was created by Sunday Swap. Um, and this actually provided a great visual representation of what concurrency actually looks like. And we can see these blocks represent different UTXOs that are happening on the blockchain. Uh, we can see that these are concurrent, but they're not parallel. What we have below this is that they are concurrent and they are parallel. So we have these UTXOs that are being executed simultaneously. Now, in the context of this discussion, Ethereum is decent at concurrency, terrible at parallelism. The UTXO model is fantastic at parallelism, but could face contention, making it not very concurrent. So there's quite a bit of terminology that's involved there, but there's a lot of thinking involved with how this is going to look for some of these DEXs. Another great article on concurrency is Cardax. So Cardax released an article yesterday uh, and I did some reading on that. And it's a very interesting to think about how they're addressing this and its relationship to DEXs. So let's take a look at how they frame this in relationship to UTXOs on the blockchain. Contention for UTXOs can be poisonous to any DAP design. In the best case scenario, the race to consume a DAP state UTXO would be resolved randomly with unbiased odds based on which transaction is the first to be included into a new block. In the worst case, DAP participants may seek to gain advantage in the DAP by seeking out validators or stake pools and enticing them to bias their selected transactions for the new block, essentially bribing the validator on the network, hey, sign these transactions first. So in short, UTXO contention in adapt design will lead to indeterminism in how participants' interactions are resolved and may introduce corrupting incentives to the wider ecosystem, though the ecosystem is quite resistant to these incentives. So their main objective as developers is to eliminate or mitigate all impactful UTXO contention from our designs while still providing the DAP with all the information that it needs to function within the local scope of restriction. So there's a lot of cool stuff that they're talking about. They mentioned Hydra in this article. They talk about how amazing it is as a scalability solution. I'm actually gonna share some points related to Hydra here as well in this video. Uh, but I think that what we've seen from these exchanges coming out and talking about this concern is definitely a willingness to stand up and rise to the occasion. Um, and from what we've seen with a lot of developments, I actually wanted to touch on some of those. Uh, I think that there's a lot of interesting solutions that are being proposed to this objective concern. Briefly taking a look at some of the developments with these projects, we could see that uh, C-Fund scooped up Sunday. So yesterday it just came out that Sunday Swap Labs announced that they had raised $1.3 million in initial seed capital by the C-Fund. So the C Fund is essentially a venture capital firm in the blockchain industry that's anchored by the founding entity of Cardano IOG and it's managed by Wave Financial. So Sunday Swap is one of the most highly anticipated DEXs on Cardano. Uh, this is gonna be great because this funding is going to allow them to accelerate the development of their DEX, continue testing of the platform and refining the user experience. Now, Sunday Swap had actually come up with this really innovative funding model called the ISO or the ISPO. It's the initial stake pool offering. 
So one of the questions that was raised by one of the members in the community, big shout out to Jeff with Swag Stake Pool. He said that now he has to ask, is there still a need for the ISPO at this point? From Sunday Swap Labs, they said that that's right, the ISO will be used to support the early supporters and participants don't give up their ADA rewards anymore. So it looks like from what they have announced, both on the article announcing this and their Twitter, that they are still gonna move forward with their initial stake pool offering. But now, instead of having to give up your ADA rewards in exchange for Sunday tokens, initial participants of the initial stake pool offering will have the best of both worlds. So you'll be able to delegate to their stake pool, still earn your ADA rewards, while also receiving Sunday tokens for being an early participant in the project. So I think that's incredible. I think it's a really smart thing for them to do, uh, seeing that they did receive quite a bit of upfront capital from the C fund to go ahead and build their platform. Um, I think that creating the openness that they have with their initial stake pool offering and still giving participants their ADA rewards, I think that's gonna be huge uh, in terms of getting as many people on board. So nice to see that, great job, and congratulations to the Sunday Swap team. Um, another development and another exchange that I wanted to talk about was ADAX. So ADAX is a really nice looking DEX. Uh, from what I've seen so far, they've got a few examples of what their UI is gonna look like. What's cool about this exchange is that they actually have Cardano's ERC-20 converter built into their platform. So if you have an Ethereum token and if you wanna use the Cardano blockchain and uh, swap your token using the ADAX DEX, you'll actually be able to use the ERC-20 converter directly from their platform, swapping your Ethereum tokens over to Cardano tokens. So I think that's really cool. I love how they've designed their project. I think it's a very professional layout, looks nice. This token is actually available for sale already on an exchange called X Markets. Um, I was taking a look at that. X Markets does have quite a bit of mixed reviews. Uh, it's not really the best in terms of the user interface, in terms of the user experience, uh, but still nonetheless, it is a tradable token right now on the Cardano blockchain. One of the interesting developments that came out with ADAX was that they had signed a strategic partnership with Vi Finance. Uh, so Vi Finance is going to be another player in the Cardano DeFi space, and it's really nice to see this partnership taking place. Um, from what we've seen, a lot of the projects that are building right now have come out and addressed their different viewpoints on how to solve certain problems. And with this partnership, it seems that they are more in an effort to collaborate as opposed to compete in order to solve these different problems. So I really like to see that ADAX is partnering with Vi Finance. Another interesting partnership is Cardax. They've actually partnered with Cardax as well. This is straight from their blog. Cardax partners with Vi Finance in another strategic partnership. Uh, so there's a lot of collaboration happening here uh, with these DeFi projects. Really nice to see that. You know, I think that in terms of the concerns addressed by the community related to concurrency for Cardano's EUTXO model, it seems like the projects that are actually working to address this issue are fairly competent and do have a bit of savvy to understand that these solutions are gonna be found through cooperation as opposed to competition. So great to see that. Kudos to all of these projects building on Cardano. Love to see the progress. One of the really cool developments that's gonna be talked about in the Cardano Summit and in the very near future as well, seeing we do already have smart contracts, how do we get to the point where we can meet the demands and scale the network transactions per second to meet the demands of millions and billions of users? So Hydra is one of the scaling solutions that is going to be implemented to solve this concern. So Shweta from KBlox made a really awesome post. Ouroboros Hydra enables Cardano to scale drastically. Early simulations show that each head can perform up to 1,000 transactions per second. With 1,000 heads, this could be as high as 1 million transactions per second. With something like this implemented, Hydra would allow Cardano to scale to the level of traditional global payment systems like we see with Visa and MasterCard. So that's huge considering that this is a blockchain protocol completely decentralized. So I really like that, super cool. 
Rick from Digital Fortress, huge shout out as well, put a great example out there here showing us in a visual representation of what Hydra actually looks like. So what this is, basically we have a representation of the main Cardano blockchain here at the bottom. So you have a block, you have a UTXO that is contained within that block. So basically I go and submit a transaction to the chain. I wanna send Alice some ADA. What happens here in terms of time, we have the blockchain continuing with blocks being added to the chain until finally we have the output of that initial UTXO, right? So you have time that passes, but within that time, what you have is an off-chain solution, which in this case represents Hydra. So we have a Hydra head. Now, what we have is the events that happen within this Hydra head basically are similar to what we have with the UTXOs happening on the main blockchain. So you have participants or token holders in this case that are able to validate these transactions off-chain and be able to pick up with the recorded history of the main chain and add to that chain based on what information they have recorded. So a Hydra head can only be complete or abort and it always preserves wealth. So there is no UTXO that is created or destroyed on a Hydra head basically being able to say in a much faster sense that this initial input yielded with this final output. And we can also see here that we've got multiple Hydra heads happening in parallel. So if you think about the amount of scalability that will be offered by something like the Hydra protocol, it's actually pretty interesting. And uh, this is a really great representation of how that actually works. So nice work from Rick with Digital Fortress. Last little bit for those of you all who have stayed till the very end of the video. Something that I'm really looking forward to is the Cardano Summit. I'm actually going to be in Wyoming for the Cardano Summit. This is going to be the after party hosted by Spockra. I'm really looking forward to basically come and connect, get a big hug, enjoy live music, an open bar, commemorative NFTs, really excited about that. I will definitely be there. If you are gonna be in Wyoming, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to meet some of you all, some of the supporters of our channel and members in the Cardano community finally face-to-face -face for the first time. I think that's gonna be great. And even if you're not going to Wyoming, whether you're going to London, Germany, Singapore, anywhere in the world, Canada, you know, anywhere. I think that it's just going to be great for members in the Cardano community to get a chance to meet and collaborate face to face. You know, this whole COVID thing really kind of put a damper in how the way the world works in the traditional sense. But because of that, one thing I'm really looking forward to as well is the virtual event. So if you can't make it to one of these places to go and celebrate the Cardano Summit, there's going to be this amazing virtual event, this VR type world. There's going to be a huge turtle. I wonder what the name of the turtle is going to be. But basically, you'll be able to go and view all these different realms of the Cardano ecosystem, right? I think it's just an incredible idea. And I think that what they've done with this event is something really special for the Cardano community. Uh, so I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see you all there. If you're going to Wyoming, let me know down below. If you're not going to Wyoming, no worries at all. Let me know where are you going to be going for the Cardano Summit. So lots of exciting stuff happening there. Hopefully I'll even be able to share some of my experience with you here on this YouTube channel. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to share it all with you. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video here today. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.